One thing I do recommend limiting is people also viewed. Uh, so what I mean here is that if you click on settings and privacy, then I think you click on preferences, site preferences. Is this right? People also view it. Here you go. Um, I would change this to no. The reason is because when people click on your profile here, let's click it on yes and I'll show you what I mean. So if I have it as yes, let's go back to my profile. Let's reload it. And you can see that when people look at my profile, they see people also viewed. This means that people who viewed my profile also viewed these profiles. And the reason I want to get rid of that is that when people come to my profile, I want them to stay on my profile. I don't want them to be like, oh, I wonder who this person is, and then click on it right away. So that's why my recommendation is to get rid of it, and that way it doesn't show up. Now, what about when people add you? What about when people want to add you and you'll get quite a few people adding you and you need to decide if you want to ignore, accept, etc., etc. So obviously a lot of this is a judgment call and uh, usually if someone adds me and I have no connection to them and right away they're trying to sell me something, I'll just ignore them. But otherwise, especially if they're my field or it seems like uh, there's someone I could have as a contact or converse with or do business with, then I will add them. I have no reason not to really. And so I just wanted to show you how I go about it and so hopefully it'll give you some ideas. Now right away I see that these people have added me and I can click ignore or accept. What I prefer to do however is here, open them in a new window and I'll show you why in a second. If I then go to the window where I opened it, if my connection could be a bit quicker that would help, there we go. And the reason I like to go here is because, well, first of all, I usually cannot send a message ahead of time, right? Even though I'd like to, if, uh, you know, if it says message person, it says get sales navigator. Now, if you have sales navigator, then uh, you can send a message before accepting their request. Unfortunately, I don't have it now. I'm not paying for it now. So I will accept. And we'll do the same thing here. I will accept. And then I just reload it. Sorry again for the slow connection. I'll just do it on this one page because if I try to do it for all three, it'll take forever. And uh, here I just reload it and then I and then I click message. And then I send, it's usually just a standard message that I send um, to each person. And the reason I do this is because if you just accept and don't say anything, it pretty much dies on the vine and that's it. There's no more interaction. But at least here, there's the possibility of starting a conversation. And so usually I'll write something like, hi there, thank you for the invitation to connect. Have we met in person or do you know me from YouTube or my courses or just from here on LinkedIn? Thank you, Robert. And then usually they reply and say how they know me. And usually it just ends there and I'll just say, well, if I can be of any help for anything, feel free to let me know. But every now and then it starts a conversation and it can get more interesting. So that's what I usually try to do. So I recommend trying to send a message when you add people right off the bat because uh, this at least gives you the possibility of having further conversation rather than just adding them and uh, you both forget that you have each other as a contact. Because if you have someone as a contact, then you're just trying to get the numbers and quite frankly, that's a useless contact. So I recommend sending a message. It can be a, a standard one that you just ask each person. It doesn't really matter. You don't need to personalize it too much. In fact, it's better if you just have something you copy and paste. That's what I do because uh, that way you don't have to think about it too much.